In Matilda, some pages have hints available. For example, if we go to the user info page, which is generally used to practice SQL injection, you can see that hints are available at the top left of the page. If you click on hints, there's various hints that you can click on that will open in a separate tab and walk you through the examples. If you toggle the security until you reach security level 5, you'll notice that the hints disappear and also the show hints button disappears as well. So it appears that we can't actually get the hints to show in security level 5, but we'll see that there is a way to actually modify the system or hack it if you prefer in order to get the hints to show when they shouldn't. If we toggle the security back to security level 0, which doesn't have any protection at all, we can start to try to figure out how the hints work in the first place. One of the tools we're going to use to do this is Burp Suite. So as root in Samurai Linux, I'm going to go ahead and start Burp running. And so this is the latest Samurai VM that came out in the summer of 2015 approximately. And once we have the Burp Suite tool running, we're now able to intercept the traffic that goes between the web server and the web browser. And one of the things that I need to do is I need to set Firefox to use Burp Suite to proxy all of its traffic. You can do this over here in any browser by going to Preferences, Advanced, Network, Settings, and then set your proxy up over here to point to localhost on whatever port Burp is listening on. The port is over under proxy and options and in this case is localhost 8082. There are plenty of videos available on how to set up Burp Suite between Firefox and the web server. So to figure out how the hints work, let's go ahead and toggle the hints. And we can see that the request that occurred from clicking on that button is trapped over here. And it's going to go off to the server. And it's going to pass a flag of toggle hints. Also, it's interesting to note there's a cookie called show hints, and it's currently set to zero. We'll forward this request onto the server and wait for the server to respond. The server responded with a redirection page, a 302, that has a location set to the user info page and appears to be popping up some kind of a notification. But more importantly, notice that there's a set cookie statement that's altering the show hints cookie to have a value of 1. We'll go ahead and turn the interception off so that the web request can go back and forth between the server and the browser without us having to forward them. And over here on the user lookup page, we can see that the hints are displayed. So it appears that the value of the cookie influences whether or not the hints show. And that may give us the ability to toggle the hints on even in security level 5. So we'll go ahead and toggle security until we can get back to security level 5. And the hints should disappear once you get there. There are tools that are built into Firefox that will allow us to look at the cookies. We can click on the open menu bar and the developer toolbar. You can click on Inspector or Toggle Tools, and Inspector will open. Notice that there's also Console and Debugger tabs along with Performance and Network tabs that are useful. We're going to use the Console, and to start with, we're going to display the value of cookies. So currently, the cookies contain a value of the PHP session ID and show hints equal to zero, which we expected. To show that, we typed in document.cookie. Document represents the document itself the docu of the document object model, in other words, the web page. And the cookie is a child of the document. And the cookie object represents all of the cookies that are attached to that document. In other words, document.cookie is an object that can reference all the cookies for the web page. So at this point, we just want to change show hints to be one, and we can use the document.cookie object to do that. So we'll type document.cookie, 
equals, we'll open up double quotes, and then we'll set show hints cookie equal to one, and then we're going to close the quotation marks. If we arrow up to one of our previous commands, which was just document.cookie, we can see that now the show hints cookie is indeed equal to one, where it was equal to zero. It's important to note that we modified a cookie inside of our own browser. The server doesn't actually know that we've done this yet, but what we could do is we can refresh the page and that'll cause a copy of our current cookies to be sent over to the server. At that point, the server can see that the show hints cookie is now equal to one, and that may cause it to send back to us a new copy of the web page that actually has the hints showing. So we'll just refresh the current page. And when the page comes back, we can see the hints are restored. But we're still in security level 5, so they should not be there. And it appears that our modification has worked. Now, going back to using Burp Suite earlier, we could have used the interception tool to have caused the cookie to have the value we wanted in the first place. So let's try it. We'll toggle security and go back to the lesser security levels. We're at security level 0 one more time and we're at security level 1. So if we toggle to security again we know that we're going to go into security level 5 and the hints are going to disappear. At this point let's go ahead and turn the interception back on and then toggle security into security level 5. So we can see the request and it's sending the action to toggle the security with a show hints equal to 1. We'll forward that on to the server. The 302 found returns, and as you can see, the set cookie is set to set override the value of the show hints cookie with 0 to turn the hints off. And we knew that was going to happen. But before we let this response go back to Firefox, let's overwrite the 0 with a 1. We'll forward this response onto Firefox and let it read show hints equals 1 instead of show hints equals 0. In other words, we're going to set the cookie for show hints equal to 1 even though the server intended for it to be set to 0. Now it's displaying the page again along with this notification. And we'll let that go back to Firefox. Here's the web page coming back from the server. And by now, the web page should be loaded into Firefox. And once again, we can see that we're in security level 5, but the hints are not disabled because we overrode the value of the cookie as the cookie was coming back from the server before it actually loaded into the web browser.